Here is a breast biopsy of a breast tumor. Uh, I think you're going to have to take it on faith that this is uh, breast tissue because there is virtually no place on here that looks like normal uh, breast tissue with lobules, asini, uh, yada, yada, yada. At first, I thought this area here might have been, but when I zoomed in on it a little bit, I realized it was a nerve and it was not a residual normal uh, breast lobule. Notice that uh, virtually half of the specimen here consists of a tumor that has kind of a pushing margin and infiltrating areas like here. And uh, this is the entire tumor right here. Everything surrounded it is normal fibrous tissue of the breast. When you look very closely at this tumor, you could see that it consists of these little lakes or pools of mucin in which a glandular material uh, swims in the middle of. This is a colloid carcinoma. It's also called mucinous carcinoma. It's also one of the types of breast cancer that has a favorable prognosis in that it does not have an aggressive behavior as much as some of the other infiltrating ductal carcinomas. Whenever breast carcinomas are associated with these little labules or pools of mucin in which you have these uh, uh, small uh, glandular uh, car carcinoma areas, it's usually a good sign. Uh, also notice that it does not have a widely infiltrative margin. However, I think if you look here, you can see this is clearly an area that is starting to infiltrate and kind of break away from the crowd over here. From a cytologic point of view, uh, of course, this is probably true with many uh, breast carcinomas anyway. You could see some uh, pleomorphism here and perhaps a mitosis here or here. Uh, the uh, cytology, however, is not as uh, bad as it could be. This is a mucinous carcinoma of the breast, also called colloid carcinoma.